terrorists, we're not no gangsters, we revolutionaries, and that's how we Y'all hear the bomb, man. Y'all hear the explosive, man. It's your favorite host, Bunny Hunter BJ, CEO Nino Cappuccino, the Breeze in, man. Hey, man, we bringing you that news you can use, Jack. It's your favorite YouTube twins, man, in conjunction with HTX, current news, watch satellite news, man. Bringing you some news you can use, Jack. What it do, big up? What it do? What's going on, BJ? This is a sad one right here, Jack. This is a sad one. I don't think a lot of news outlets reported on this tragedy that happened in Oklahoma, man. I, I want to believe this was in Oklahoma City. Um, OKC? OKC, pretty, pretty Bobby, sad. Fuel him up, Bobby. Fuel him up. We OKC bound, man. And slow this some bitch down. But if I tell you again, you know what, Bobby? I put in a couple of new applications already on your ass. I'm going to just let you know right now up front, Bobby. I didn't put in a couple of new applications, so I got a few pilots of interest right now. So you keep fucking up if you want to, Bobby. Keep fucking up. Now fuel this jet up and let's get to OKC, man. What's up, huh? All right, so get on this um, nigga ass at times, huh? But I see, I see. Y'all, you always fucking with Bobby. Bobby gonna quit on your ass. You ain't you ain't gonna have nobody to fly this goddamn plane. Now I know I better be cool, huh? Because that nigga yeah. do got me in the air at times, man. He yeah. might decide exactly. he wanna just descend the plane, uh huh? Exactly. <laughs> hey, so check this out, man. Man kills his three young children then he kills himself but it's not the the, the killing the three young children is hold tragic. on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on let me finish this let me finish. Up. Like, i need to hear you again I, I i need tv land to hear you clearly and i need to hear, hear you did you just say a man who lined up lined up all three of his children execution style and he killed them and he killed them damn man Damn, 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 damn. Come on. Huh? Yeah, so this is this is a this is a news story that hasn't circulated nationwide. So that's this happened about I want to say I think this happened like about a month ago, a month or two ago, but I wanted to uh shine a light on it because this just shows the type of world that we are currently living in today. B roll. Oh, man, as we do. Shine the light on the shit that others don't, man. Great topic, great story, uh, as we do. Hey, listen, man, we just landed, man. We down here in OKC, man, Oklahoma City, which happens to be uh, one of my bloodlines functions, man. I got family members. I got a bloodline coming up out of Oklahoma, man. Stretch all the way far as to Kansas City, to the Midwest. So I got family from OKC, man. Straight up, bro. So we down here in OKC right now, Oklahoma City, man. I know about old Tulsa, man. I got some stories, man, about Tulsa, Oklahoma, man. Me and Cyclone, man. OG Cyclone and uh, and, uh, and uh, Sleep, you feel me? And the nigga Bone. Yeah, Oklahoma City, man. Yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma, man. So, yeah, man, we down here in Oklahoma City, man, where this guy has lined his kids up, man, execution style. We about to B-roll this, see what it do. This is my first time seeing the B-roll, so I don't even know what it looked like. I don't even know what to expect. Uh, I hit up with one of these type of surprising B-rolls before about the chopped up baby who got her head dismantled and laying on the counter. So I guess this is his time to get me back. I don't know. Let me prepare myself. And let's see. Let's B-roll, big Unk. Breaking news, and I do want to warn you before we go any further, this involves the death of three children, and you might want to move your kids out of the room. The scene takes us to far west Oklahoma City, where a jogger found the three children, all under the age of seven, and their father dead inside of a car. News for us, Taylor Mitchell is live. Taylor, police are at the man's home, which is several blocks away from where the car was found this morning. That's right, Adria. There's been an active police presence on this street all afternoon. They're now gone, but from what I can tell, police had been collecting evidence from the home behind me, which is where the family lived. Now, earlier this afternoon, I spoke with the jogger who discovered the family's car. 
The jogger found this car this morning around 7.30. She didn't want to go on camera, but says the scene was very graphic. I don't want to be gruesome, but I saw blood on the, on the ground under the car. And um, just thought he had probably shot himself. Okay. Anyway, so I just went around the corner and knocked on the closest house and had them call the police and the police came right away. In shock and in tears, she says she has never seen police and medical officials react the way they did when they opened the car. Well, there's two things I'm going to remember, and that is you know, seeing that blood under the car and the police reaction. I haven't seen cops act like that, but um, they were pretty dramatic and affected. Um, that's how me and the neighbor who had called, that's how we started to get an idea that there was more than just a man who had shot himself. Officers tell News 4 they were called to the family's home to check on them around 1230 last night. Oh, damn, this must have had to be really, really be a hella gruesome scene, huh? That now you know as a sworn in officer and a paramedic, you've seen it all. You've seen the deaths on top of deaths, chopped off heads, missing eyeballs, brain blown out, car accidents, burnt up bodies. You've seen the worst of the worst of deaths. But why is it that no matter what, as an adult, as grown-ups, when you see them kids, you see them babies, bro. It's some about them babies' deaths. It's some about a, a a child's death. It's just a whole different. It's a whole different ball game, man. It's just a whole different level, bro. You feel me? Yeah. And I was just sitting here listening to the story and putting myself in character at that moment, trying to soak in what they seen, and just from her telling the story, you could tell it was so gruesome and graphic and horrific, like it was just. Like, damn, because that means he put them three babies in the back seat and each one of them were under seven years old. Let's make that clear for, clarify right now. Under the age seven years old, each one of these kids. So that means at close range, it was brains, blood, guts, body parts splattered all over the back seat of that car and the windows. The babies never seen it coming. When that nigga turned around with his coward ass and spent that gun on them babies, they didn't have the slightest idea what daddy was doing. And I know in their mind, they probably thought daddy was playing or didn't have the slightest idea. It's a real gun. So that, all that shit is running in my head right now. What could these kids have been thinking about at five or six or four years old? So I can understand that lady's pain on how she's even describing this gruesome scene right now, huh? Of all that blood and all that stuff that's going on. You feel me? I yeah. can't even imagine, man. Not interested. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, bro, that shit is crazy, man. Crazy. I, I just had to share that right quick, bro, because when I was listening to the lady speak, you could just hear it in her voice. And when she said, what, what I'm going to remember for the rest of my life was the blood so that means it was a lot of blood, lot of blood. Oh. for that blood to come out of this out of the seats of that car and leak into the floor on the ground that means it was a lot of blood a whole whole lot of blood so she said the only last two things i remember for the rest of my life is the blood on the ground and the face on them officers when they walked up and they seen that scene so you know it had to be gruesome Let's continue to B-roll right quick, huh? And um, made some threatening statements. Yeah. They do not live here. This is um, a, a little bit from their house, uh, maybe half a mile or so from where they live. Uh, we think he just drove here, and um, this is this is where it happened. A neighbor tells me she heard the couple screaming at each other Thursday at 2.30 in the morning oh, and the three children out. Damn, man. Why was my prediction right before this lady just opened her mouth to say that? The reason why I was telling you to pause, I was going to say, uh, we ain't heard nothing involved of a woman. And I guarantee you this nigga committed suicide and took the babies with him behind a fucking female. 
I wow. guarantee you that uh, that was going to be my prediction. So let's continue to be roll and find out the results, man. Damn, the power of pussy. Outside, and they looked scared. We'll continue on this story tonight at 10 right here on News 4. Live in Northwest Oklahoma City, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. Mm-mm-mm. So it didn't say anything about the mom or the mother, where she is, what, what's going on. No, nah, no, nah, they ain't say anything. We need to do a back. We need to do a backdrop follow up on this story and find out, because I'm sure she's going to surface or they're going to have something based on the mother when this story unfolds. Well, it's, it's been a month, so we need to follow up and find out who the mother is or if she came about, uh, came you know came up and they did an interview on her or something, bro. Because why else would this dude commit suicide? That's my question now. And if you decided you was going to take your life, nigga, why take the baby's life? I think that's the most coward's way out in life. And that, that way right there, one thing for sure I know as a spiritual world, bro, and living in the spirit world, bro, is you would not get on the other side from taking your life. That I believe in strongly. I believe that shit strongly that any human being that commits the sin of taking your own life, it's a ruling in, in God's eyes. You won't make it on that side, so you can forget about it. You are, you're in eternal hell. Once you take your own life, you have committed yourself to eternal hell forever and for eternity. Ain't no judgment for you. They, he won't be pulling your soul back up to rejudge you. You already been judged. That's the rule. I didn't make up the rule, you guys. He did. The power within did. So if you go take your own self, dome yourself, Nigga, you already committed yourself to hell. And there is a hell, man. We live in it. All right, so for an update on the story, uh, I found a, I found a news article, and the news article said that... Uh, That's what I'm talking about, man. That's why he shotgun. That's why he that ninja. Feel me? That's why he big unk, man. Big unk stays on point, you guys. I know uh, I got on his head earlier for his sloppiness, but you know, he knows how to make up for it, man. That's big up the co-host, man. No, let me not get that nigga them type of props, man. Fuck that. A sloppy Joe Unk, man. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, you gonna let me you gonna let me finish? <laughs> get it in, up. <laughs> All right, so uh the 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 coward's name was French uh franchise Little John. The kids the ages were I knew the the, the news story said they was under the age of seven, but I understood I understood why they they didn't want to give a accurate age on 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 the kids on the victims because the ages were six, four, and three. I tell you, all right. Uh, so it so, sounds like it was one boy and two girls: Kyron, Aaliyah, and Trinity. So fr franchise Little John grew frustrated over his baby's mother the kid's mother leaving him and reportedly sent a text to a family mem member around 4 a.m that included a threat to harm the children as always with my predictions huh as always man with my predictions wow wow so tv land this ignorant fool Killed herself because the baby mama out there fucking up. Baby, baby mama out here doing the most. She doing her thing, obviously. And he got the babies. So he threatened her via text. If you don't come home or wherever you at, I'm going to kill myself and the kids. Oh, nigga, you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to kill yourself. The, the typical thing females would do, bro, in these type of scenarios, these type of cases. Instead, he said, well, where you at? I'm on my way. Don't kill the babies. Don't kill yourself, baby. I'm on my way. Because you 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 underestimating, you underestimating the situation, thinking what you're thinking is not gonna happen, and people are in a different frame of minds at this stages of their lives. You don't know what the fuck will happen. You don't know what a person to do. So it's not no no advice to nobody to underestimate nobody, and I mean nobody at this given time and moment of your life, bro. Nobody, especially when they calling you and they calling you out on it. Nigga, you better act on it and find out and make sure that there's not no truth to that. That's my advice to the public, to anybody out there that's listening to this EP and listen to the story right now and listen to me and Big Unk. 
if you even think it's a problem or situation, man, act on it before you allow your subconscious to say, oh, no, and underestimate, and then find out you, you become the next victim, bro. Straight up, man. Damn, man, huh? Well, you know, the co the cowardness, it was two cowards in, in, in this story. He was a coward, and I got to say it, the mother was a coward too because after the verbal dispute the or domestic dispute that she had with him, she fled the home. So she fled the home and left the kids with Oh, oh, uh, pause for a second. Part my soul. Then that collaborates with Black Science just said then. Black Science just made a comment and said that um, perhaps she was the intended target. Something to think about. Mm. Something to think about, TV Land. That made a lot of sense what Black Science just said. He said maybe she was the intended target. Now, we don't know that. And Unc just said she fled, meaning she ran, she left from the argument. That means he got in the car and left with the kids then, trying to go find her. Couldn't find her, didn't text her. And then it led up to suicide. Damn. So maybe he was going to kill her ass then and the babies and him. Uh, yeah, he probably was going to kill the whole, everybody. Six, four, and three, man. And y'all wonder where all that blood came from. The reason why the scene looks so gruesome. I just told y'all, that's two babies sitting in the baby seat. Actually, all three of them if they in baby seats. If not, that's two of them in baby seats and one of them not. And you turn around, you brandish the pistol, and you knock at that close of a range to three babies. Come on, bro. I wouldn't even want to see that scene. And I didn't see some scenes in my life, bro. I didn't see some gruesome, gruesome shit. But it's just something about them babies, them kids, bro. Mm -mm. I didn't see car accidents with dead corpses, kids. Shit didn't sit well with me. Grown up shit, I'm used to it, bro. Adult shit, I'm used to that shit. I seen it all my life growing up, from the projects on to the streets of Los Angeles. But it's just something about the death of a child, man. It don't set right, huh? That shit just don't set right, bro. And at that age, six, four, and three? Six, four, and three, man? Six, four, and three. Them is toddlers, bro. Man. That's a sad one. Damn, huh? You got me on this one, boy. You crushed me on this one. You you crushed me on this one, you ninja. You got my ass on this one, boy. I wasn't expecting that one. And you said lined them up. I think he didn't line them up execution style like against a wall or something. That's even worse. He put him in the backseat of, of a car, huh? I just knew this lady was going to say she walked up on the car and the car was still running and the gas, the gas the cylinder was running. And that's how he killed himself and the kids. You know, the old the old OG way with the rolled up windows and all the gas seeping in the car and the accelerator kills you. I thought he did it the original way. Man, he nah. turned around and killed them execution style, huh? Like face to face. And the babies probably looked, looked at him smiling and daddy and, and, and he, oh, bro, I can't even get that shit out of my mouth to say he blew their head off while they was smiling and, and, and chanting that nigga name, daddy. The last words he heard. And then kill itself. I'm glad you killed yourself, pussy. Yeah. Glad you killed yourself, man. Shouldn't have killed them babies, though, man. Hey, man, we got to get up out of here on this one, man. On that note, man, you've been struck by lightning, bro, man. ROE 2023, man. Spiff DTV in conjunction with HTX Current News. Watch Satellite News. Bringing you some news you can use, Jack. Hey, man, we know this was, this was a real, 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 real rugged one right here, man. But drop your comments. Drop your opinions. Hey, baby daddies, sperm donors, baby mamas, since y'all like to be categorized in those categories, baby mamas, sperm donors, y'all drop your comments, man. We need to hear from you guys right now. We need to hear from baby mamas, baby daddies. What would you do in a situation like this? Your baby daddy or your slash baby mama called you on the phone and said, hey, nigga, I got the kids. If you don't come, I'm going to kill myself. Would you react off of it? Or would you ignore it and underestimate it? That is the question. Drop them comments, man. Would you act off of it or would you ignore it? That is the question, man. Drop them comments, man. Ori 2023, man. I'm your favorite host, Bonnie Hunter BJ, CEO Nino Cappuccino, the Breeze Man. 
co-host big up riding shotgun as always man with the double barrel cock back ready and loaded man we ain't with the bullshit over here man we deliver content man true content the mighty horns the w watts w-a-t-t-s we are taught to survive and we out this bitch ah yeah